Hi everyone, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot and we are doing another unboxing and this time this is for the Healers of the Earth Oracle and I love that title and from what I could see on the Etsy shop this deck is going to be something that I think I'm going to to enjoy so I'm optimistic as I go into, as I usually am with all of my deck purchases or acquisitions. I'm usually quite the optimist in terms of if I'm going to love it, but we'll see, you know. But I don't usually gravitate to decks that I don't want to vibe and connect with, so there's that. But I will say that, oh, this is my broken lighter. I will say that um, from what I can see on the internet of the images and the deck creator Mandy Peterson was so generous in how she showed many of her pictures in some of the Facebook uh, Oracle and deck, you know, deck um, groups, tarot deck and Oracle deck groups. And she showed it to us. She you know, walked it, walked us through the process that she was going through with creating the deck, you know, I mean, she didn't do a full on, you know, like a bone stone bash situation, but I just felt like she was a very open, um, thoughtful, fair deck creator. And so, you know, I, I wanted to support her creation and I felt like it would play nicely in some of the readings that I'm starting to do more of, which is more of that uh, deep soul level healing readings. And yeah, so I'm excited about this. And Mandy Peterson is the deck creator. How cool. I like getting little bonus cards. Um, and she signed it, so that's awesome. It's a little, um, I'm assuming this is going to be just like the car and it's a little glossy, but it's not like, it's not like bad glossy. It's, I don't know. You know, it's, um, I like the cardstock, but you know, I like to ruffle shuffle. I don't know. I can't, I can't peg it, but I like it. I like it. And it says remnants of Atlantis, the past resurfacing, resurfacing past lives, karma, Mmm. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this unboxing. That's card 25. And I usually save those um, on my little vision board. So, this is cool. Nice, sweet packaging. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm ripping it. Not delicate whatsoever. I really like it. I'm just I'm super excited about the packaging and the presentation. I'm that girl. I'm that one who's a sucker for like the theatrics of a deck. Now, like, with that being said, it's not always practical to have decks with large boxes, especially, you know, when you're trying to conserve space because your collection has grown. But every now and then you'll make an exception like, like I did with this one. And this one's still not so bad. It's all nice and contained. Isn't that pretty? Heal Healers of the Earth Oracle as a ribbon. A little pull. There's the back. It's like a matte finish for the back, or for the box, I should say. Healers of the Earth Oracle, 73 divination cards in guidebook. It's nice and chunky. Uh -oh. Ooh. oh my gosh, it comes with a bag, and it is so amazing. It is so amazing. First of all, let's, t let's just check this bag out. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Mandy, thank you. This is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a proper bag. I've been so blessed this year with uh, tarot bags and gifts. Oh, I have to show 
a special gift I got from a special friend and she knows who she is. I have something for her and it's quite the cool cover. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be in my, my December favorites. I'm all getting all giddy like a kid, like it's Christmas. Well, it is actually, I'm filming this about two weeks before Christmas. Okay, this is empathy and relationship. So it looks like it has um, suits, I believe. So it's an oracle that has suits. I'm going to try not to get too much of a glare because I have a light and I'm still getting used to this new light. Um, so it's kind of hard. So it is glossy. For some reason, though, I don't, I don't mind. Um... Especially when you have more of this um, shiny gilding, sometimes it has to uh, come up against a more glossier cardstock. Is what I've found for it to, you know, to weather that. Especially good quality gilding, um, like my Numinous Tarot is still in good, rather good shape with the gilding, and it's kind of that's what I would like in this too. Um, goes like that. So before we look at the cards, I'm going to take a quick look at the guidebook, but I wanted to just kind of show you and give you a little taste. The intangible, indeterminate, formless, unknowable. Oh, I like that. Mm, I like that. And one, the clock is ticking. Time to act. Preventable loss. A deadline. I. This is one of the cards that sold me. And you know what this deck reminds me of as I go through, as I was going through the images online, and it probably has no, no iota of a feeling like this particular deck, but with its whimsical nature, it totally reminds me of an independent uh, deck uh, that's a sister to the, it's like a sister deck to the mass produced wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. To me, it's got, it's got just, it's like a little bit like more like badass. Celestial encounter, heavenly from the stars beyond the veil. Isn't that pretty? And I sold my Wisdom of the Oracle, uh, Oracle deck a few couple of months ago to a bookstore. And then shortly thereafter, I kind of regretted it because I sold that. I sold the good tarot. I feel like I sold one more. But for sure, the wisdom of the oracle and the good tarot. Sold them. Don't have any regrets about selling the good tarot, but I do have some regrets about selling my wisdom of the oracle. Cloud formations, clouded thoughts, indecision, confusion. But I really like this deck. This one speaks to me more than I, and then I mean, the Wisdom of the Oracle, when I first saw it, and I was like, oh, I gotta have that deck. But this one spoke to me like, no, I feel like I felt called to work with it. Like other, like I'll be able to help people with this deck. Like I'll be able to reach people with this Oracle and I'll be able to work with it for myself and, and journal with it. I wanna do more journaling in 2019. Um, I'm a big journaler. Um, so this one's going to be great. I like that. Clouded thoughts, indecision, confusion, cloud formations. It's pretty. And bird's eye view, seeing the big picture, a higher perspective. And sometimes you have to kind of, you know, pull back so you can see it from a broader vantage point. See the situation. Round and round, scatteredness, aimlessness, re repetition. And before I go too far, because I know that these have different, things unknown. I know it has different um, suits, so I don't want to get too far into it before I do a little more looking. Okay, so here's the inside of the box. Hands that heal, healing ability, magic touch, hands on. I like that. And then it's 
got a wonderful guidebook here. Okay, so the guidebook. And this is it's cut a little bit at an angle, but I'm not one of those people that are like like it's precious to me. It's coming up a little bit. But I have loved on books and I know how to fix this actually, so I'm a big book fanatic, so I'll fix that with no problem with the page. Now So I wanted to see if it talks about, it says these are not feel good cards and I like that she says that. This deck originated as a healing divination tool to replace or complement muscle testing. Thus this deck was created with the theme of healing in mind. With healing as with certain spiritual disciplines and ways of reaching enlightenment. There's often a desire to know what parts of the self, emotions, or patterns are unproductive and can be released. Sometimes with healing, sometimes with healing issues, a full recovery is impossible unless certain memories, emotions, or aspects of the self can be fully faced. In this theme, many healing modalities can employ medical intuition to detect the negative or what's out of balance to bring it into balance again. In addition, because this deck has an environmental theme. Some of its cards definitions supports making a difference in the world, being becoming more altruistic, collective minded, and aware of how we are all connected and how everything we do has an impact upon the whole of humanity. And I love that she says that. It was one of the reasons why I was called to work with this deck because one of the groups in my membership is the Rebel Soul um, group and we are going to be dealing with some big world uh, themes but bringing it down and, and distilling it um, by way of tarot and divination and other modalities to, so we can heal ourselves and help heal the world as well so yeah and being kind of a little bit rebellious about it as well <laughs> using a spread Okay. Cut. Okay. And probably what I will end up doing is working with this deck for some time and coming back to it with the deck in focus. So I can tell you how I end up working with it. Okay, so they have different spreads. And then for the meanings, we have the intent, you know, the intangible, the key phrases, upright meaning reverse message okay some note pages about the author and this is cool okay so she has some more using the card backs okay so these are the card backs right and they have like different, they're reversible. And it says, with the healers of the earth the oracle, both the card fronts and the card backs can be used to give a reading. In the case, it is unclear with what a card back is. The sides of the cards with the numbers on them are known as the card fronts. The sides of the cards without the numbers are known as the card backs. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So she has a chart online that has a more extensive way to utilize this because there was no way to include it all into um, the guidebook. And then she has more spreads. Two card spread. Working with these two. I guess you just shuffle them and um, I deal with jumpers, so I guess if it jumped and landed on its on this side, I would just use this, right? If it's 
Um, and then she has a five size, the personal, physical, collective, physical, personal, emotional, collective, emotional. I was hoping it would have, oh, it does have unknown. So it says unknown. With drawing this card back, you are asked to focus on the unknown and unknowable. For example, do you need to face the fear of the unknown or of not being in control? Where are you presently venturing into the unknown with courage and faith? What if there are no answers to be given at present in general or with an issue? Or it is not the right time to seek them. Would you benefit from focusing on looking within yourself for what is blocking you from wanting to delve deeper beneath a subject to know the truth? And then she goes further into I like that. I do like that. Because I deal with jumpers, and it is kind of cool if it jump one way or the other, and it's like, oh, well, I'm supposed to kind of delve into that message a little bit. So, so it's a it's a chunky guidebook. I mean, yeah, it looks like it got a little like a little damage there, but like I said, I will probably read this at one or two good times, consult it on my own readings journaling. So I don't need it to be neat. If I'm doing readings for others, I'm probably not going to really consult it at all unless that's part of the spread. I didn't go into depth looking at the spreads because, well, for time's sake. But yeah, I like it. And damage happens. It was coming, it flew in internationals. And you know the pages come out and that's okay I will, I'll get that all taken care of black swan an unforeseen event a surprise hindsight we'll see the cards from what I can see so far are in great shape let's see flight plan a trip a disappearance a lack of closure. Magic beanstalk, ascension, elevation, reaching new heights. The dining table, a date, a social gathering, nourishment. Field of dreams, bounty, sustainability, a good harvest. Fruitful labors, growth, birth, manifestation, a harvest. I love this card. I love it, love it, love it. It just, even though it's whimsical, like, um, you know, some of the, of the other ones out there, I just, there's something so pretty and like magical about it that just makes me want to play in it, in the scenes. I love what she's done. Great job. Quarantine, retreat, seclusion, and inward journey. And like you could even, you could go to many different places with quarantine. Well, I could. I have quite the imagination and I've watched a lot of like movies <laughs> about quarantine. So you could be like literally like a literal quarantine. Like, uh, you got to get sick and you're going to be quarantined. Your family are going to tell you you need to go stay somewhere else for a bit. <laughs> Fungi funeral. I love this. Moderation, sobriety, healthy choices. I really like this one. 13. Nature sprite. Fairies, love of nature, echo friendliness. Cherished Pet, receiving care, attention, domestication. Shaky foundation, unsteady, lacking support, impractical. Oh, I really like this deck. Let there be light, finding a solution, illumination, growth. Bottled up, repressed, pent up, needing release. I love the keywords. I love the little little key phrases here. And I guess, yeah, I guess she is. It would be more like, it would be really cool if this was like, I guess she is in some sort of bottle. It doesn't quite look like a bottle. 
But if it was more shaped like a bottle, then it'd be like, wow. But it's so pretty. And I still like it a lot. <laughs> Quench your thirst. Be receptive, rehydrate, replenish yourself. So pretty. Pick up your sword. Take a stand. Be heard. Support a cause. Take arms, huh? Sacred smoke. Clearing the air. Purging negativity. Prayer. I really like that one. Another reason why I wanted it. This deck. Without a care. Disregard. Ignorance. Turning a blind eye. I love the use of the mushrooms in the deck, by the way. Forest of fire, passion, aliveness, flashes of inspiration. So pretty. Radio toxic, toxic environment, emo emotional vampires. I love that. Remnants of Atlantis, that's my card. The past resurfacing, past lives. And I'll probably read the meaning um, for myself later. Or maybe we'll take a look at that. Braving the storm, facing difficulties, finding courage, fortitude. Oh my gosh, look at that. Now, she's ballsy. <laughs> I would not... No, no, no. I would not be swinging in the rain like that. Maybe the rain, but not with lightning. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Look at this one. Moon magic, sleep, dreams, rhythms, and cycles. I feel like this deck is like a hug. Like a hug to me. Purity, virtue, goodness. A pillar of society. Ocean of love, deep love, caring, emotional support. Mermaids. I think this is officially my first like deck that actually has like mermaids. I don't think I have any other decks in my collection that has a mermaid. I really honestly do not. I would be very surprised if I did. Dolphin song, listening, guidance, clear audience. Don't forget your umbrella, foresight, preparedness, contingency plan. So gorgeous. Intensity, intense feelings, sexual passion, fervor. Ice fishing, breakthroughs, increased awareness. Dashing through the snow, minor setbacks, delays, roadblocks. Yeah. Kind of difficult to dash through the snow, really. <laughs> Truth be told, from what I, my three encounters in my life in snow. <laughs> Time to fly south. Travel, vacation, getting away for a bit. Pole shift. A change of heart. A turnaround or reversal. I really like what she's done here. Oh my goodness. Resilience, toughness, endurance, perseverance. Feeling numb, severe stress, disassociation, shock. Frozen in time, stuck, avoiding change, locked in the past. So you see like why, like... She mentions that this is about um, what is it? EFT. And so she's like, this isn't really like a feel like she said a feel good. This is really about doing some deep inner work here. The ice thaws, relief, alleviation, better days ahead. And I really feel like many people would find that this is a really balanced deck. Pleasant distraction, amusement, entertainment, captivation. Going off grid. Oh, I love this. Unplugging, disappearing for a while. Yes. Give me this. Now, 
give me this plus like maybe three or four more little ones for my stuff. <laughs> Higher learning, education, research, apprenticeship. That's cute. I like the little sprite little women. Oh, all little women sprite and cute and sexy little women. No place like home. The comforts of home, family, leisure. Yes. This is tapping into my childhood imagination memories. The high road, doing the right thing, loyalty, ethics. Taking the high road. Anonymous, masked, hiding, secret surveillance. Good vibration, positive vibes, upliftment, resonance. Keeping secrets, confidentiality, privacy, concealment. It's like shh. Withdrawal symptoms, yearning, craving, pain over loss. Oh, she. So, love this beautiful card. Beautiful cards. And they do, they are like little, this one looks like a little fairy. Because she's got her wings and her little pointed ears. And I guess she could kind of look like she's paint, like she's a withdrawal. But she looks almost too pretty and almost a little bit just at ease than someone who might be going through withdrawal symptoms. I would like to see someone kind of writhing in pain on that dang mushroom bed. That's just me. So, you know, it's so pretty. I'm not going to, I'm not knocking it at all, but yeah. Cleansing, purification, detoxification, release. Tea of transformation, healing, remedy, positive change. The Sky Bridge, mediumship, intuition, psychic experiences. Breathing room, freedom of movement, space, ease. Spiritual alignment, serving the greater good, focused on spirit. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Processing energies, an adjustment period, set, settling of energies. I love that. Love it. Because you guys know I'm all about the energies and the flow. 11-11, opportunity, timeliness, pay attention. So pretty. Caught in her web, manipulation, drama, intrigue. I, you know, and also I don't have a lot of fairy decks. Maybe one. So I kind of like that it's kind of tying up all my little whimsy uh, fairy tale loose ends for my deck you know like i don't have to go out and get a bunch like get a mermaid deck or get a fairy deck or get me a little whimsical deck i have it all in one safe in your bubble safe from harm protected cocoon unretrieved soul lost self lack of grounding out of body Put a spell on you. Charm, seduction, be a one over. Feng Shui, butterfly. Oh, I like this. Change, renewal, releasing obstructions. So good. I think it's going to be a good, well rounded deck to use. Meeting your twin. Like attracts like. Kindred spirit, mirror. Seer of soul, sensitivity, empathy, understanding. Akashic records, deeper knowing, archaic wisdom, history. The karmic scales, justice, atonement, karmic balancing. The law of balance, harmony, equipoise, avoiding extremes. Sound healing, healing tones, self-expression, music. Fantasy, 
imagination, conception, and daydreams. Wounded healer, wisdom from experience, humanity, care. I'm a person that definitely likes really good keywords if you're going to have keywords on there. And so I am pleased with the keyword choices. Miracle, healing, answered prayers, remission. Hands that heal. What's that card? Healing ability, magic, touch, hands on. Divine feminine. Yin, feminine values, maternal energy. And there you have it. There you have it. I'm like, oh. I'm almost going to, oh, it shuffles so beautifully. Oh. Oh, I think I'm going to be in love with the shuffability of this. Oh, but it flips nicely, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. Look at that. Meeting your twin. Pick up your sword. Ocean of love. Like a trust, like it says, kindred spirit mirror. And you got to take a stand for your love. You've met your soulmate and they're worth fighting for. Cleansing. How pretty. Just love that. Let's see how. Okay. I shouldn't do this, but I just have to. I just have to. Let's see how it ripples, shuffles. Uh oh. See? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't mean I get it carried away here. Let me just do it like that. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. I text you. Hi. I text you. Okay, I'm recording. child coming through the door getting them on there interrupting my unboxing video which feels like feeling from in between these days like I have not been I, I have a couple of deck cards and some that I've been kind of popping in looking at but nothing that makes me pull the trigger so I guess with this one, it has to be in the bag. It doesn't have like an insert, which is fine. That's perfectly a-okay -okay with me because I'm probably going to have to store the box in the book somewhere else. So I'll do like that. And we'll look at the meaning here for 25. I'll turn right to it. Okay. All right, where in, the, where in your history have you done this dance before? Where are you being given a second chance to learn a lesson or to get something right? Alternatively, where are you clinging to the past when it would be better to let go? This card can also indicate that conscious or subconscious memories from the past, even past lives are coming to the surface of your awareness to be processed or resolved. If it's not past memories coming to the surface, it could be that you're locating hidden strengths, awarenesses, or abilities. Or maybe a lesson or challenge you are currently undergoing could be connected to a past life or path or part. There is part of a karmic debt you need to pay off. Whatever is surfacing from your past, use it to grow and to create a promising future. And then reverse message. Perhaps you're tired of repeating the same pattern from your past to the point that you've decided to learn the lesson or let the past go. It could even be that events have happened that made learning a lesson unavoidable or no longer a choice. For some, such change could be precipitated by inner work you're doing, which allows you to gain self-awareness. Such new awareness could help you work through past patterns so you better understand where they arose from and how to release them. 
Maybe you, you're making these breakthroughs through receiving some form of healing or therapy that allows the unconscious to surface. Or your inner breakthroughs could be triggered by vivid dreams, flashes of memories, or encounters with important people or situations. Whatever your question or issue, something in your life and awareness is about to be shifted or is in the process of shifting. Positive change will follow. I really resonate with this message in car because um, I have been having some flashes of dreams. I normally cannot remember my dreams and I normally am not the one who has recurring dreams. I used to when I used to work a very stressful job. Um, and I would have a certain recurring dream of the ocean like engulfing me. And I don't have those dreams anymore. Uh, but then I started having flashbacks um, of like witnessing my son's accident. And it would be like just pops in my mind. And I suffer from PTSD from that, I guess. I hate to say suffer because I don't suffer actually. Because it's not really me suffering. I don't just sit idly by and take it laying down. No. <laughs> but I definitely have struggled with the issues from it. And so, um, yeah. I think that this car is coming. Like, there's certain things that have been coming up for me. Um, certain patterns that feel like it's repeated. But I'm like, well, how could it feel like this? It's feels like I mean this as I logically know it is a first time but it feels like I've been here before so I find that it's beautiful that this card was in that's the one that was my bonus card and uh, yeah put it up somewhere so I can see it and look at it it's pretty so and enjoy it but yeah I love this so cute so cute so cute so there you have it, folks. That is the Healers of the Earth Oracle by Mandy Peterson. And yeah, I am going to work with this, see how I get along with it, and um, put this on my list of decks that I'd like to do, maybe a deck in focus after I've worked with it for some time to give you how I've been working with it and getting along with it. All right. Thank you all. Love you. Bye.